now's our time for Christians to stand boldly. But the key is, is that there are ditches on both sides of that road. You see, boldness apart from brokenness makes you a bully. Mm. So on the one side, you can jump up and be like Peter and grab the wrong weapon. You know, and he went to chop the dude's head off and he was a bad aim and only got the ear, you know, but yet he grabbed the wrong weapon and Jesus tells him, you got to put away the weapon. You know, you're, you're bold, but you're not broken, Peter, mm. and you've become a bully. That's a ditch on one side, but the ditch on the other side, and this is where a lot of people in the church find themselves today, is that brokenness apart from boldness makes you a bystander. Yeah. Wow. So on one side, you can be a bully. Yeah. On the other side, you'll be a bystander. But what David and I are saying and through our book is that we talk about your boldness needs to be fueled by your brokenness. And then you'll become a bridge that connects heaven to earth. And what we mean by brokenness is brokenness doesn't mean you're out of the game. A lot of people say, well, man, I don't want to be broken. No, brokenness means you're in the game. Our dad... Uh, he loved us a lot. Thank God we had a good dad and he would teach us. He'd say, boys, only those horses willing to be broken by their master are fit to pull the king's chariot. The rest are left to pasture. And he said so, that just after I broke David on the basketball court. And he had to encourage his son. He broke me on a basketball court. laying down on his back. Let me ask you, how many times did you dunk a basketball in high school? Not many, but I tell no. you what, I did knock him out in a boxing match okay, when we were 14. We're not talking about boxing. Okay, so, but we want to we wanna bring the presence of Jesus Christ wherever we go. And so when we wrote this uh, book, it's 28 chapters of practical, simple, real life life stories on what it looks like to be both bold and broken, to become a bridge that connects heaven to earth. You know, Jesus taught us to pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And we see that divine disconnect. There's heaven, the will of God in heaven and the will of God on earth. Jesus bridges that gap, but then he uses us to continue the connection. And so this is what God wants us to do. So if we're going to do that in today's often hostile culture toward Christian values, the Lord wants us to be bold, but he wants us to be broken. So we speak the truth. We speak it in love. We can speak it with a smile on our face because we've read the end of the book. <laughs> we don't fight for victory. We fight from it. And so we can bring his kingdom. And that's what he wants us to do.